In this video, we're going to build a jQuery slider using the jQuery Cycle plugin. All right, so since we're using a plugin, this is going to be very simple. Um, this is an example of what we'll be building. You can see it just has uh, a few images. We have these arrow buttons with this hover effect. And if I click it, we can switch it. And if we just leave it alone, it'll switch automatically. All right, now the Cycle plugin has different effects you can use. This is the, the main website and documentation. You can see we can use shuffle, zoom, fade, which is what we're using in that example. Um, turn down, we have this curtain mode, scroll right. So there's a lot of different options. All right, so we're gonna start with just creating a folder. Let's go to, I'm gonna go to my C drive. And let's see, we're gonna go to projects. And I'm going to create a new folder, and we're going to call this uh, coffee tech underscore slider. Okay, and inside here, we're going to create a folder for our images, which are in your resource files. We'll create a CSS folder, and we'll create an index.html. All right, so let's go ahead and open up index.html. And inside CSS, we're going to create a file called style.css. Okay, we'll open that up. And then for the images, I'm going to paste these in. And let's take a look at them. So basically we have our arrows. Now we have different images for the hover effect. You can see it's a little darker. Um, and then we have our slides. So slide one through slide five, which is just uh, pictures of, of uh, coffee and um, laptops and so on. All right, so now we're gonna go to our HTML and uh, let's also open this in the browser. All right, and for the HTML, we're going to put in our standard HTML tags, and let's call this, uh, we'll say, Coffee Tech Slider. Okay, we want to link to our CSS, so let's say link rel equals style sheet. Okay, and that's going to be in the CSS folder, and then style.css. Now we're going to use a custom font for this, so let's go to Google Fonts. And I believe the font that I want is called Design um, Dancing Script. This right here, dancing script, and let's see, we're going to select this font, and then let's grab this right here, this link, and we're going to put that right here. Okay, now we need we need jQuery so we can get the CDN. So let's see. Say uncompressed, and we'll grab this script here, put that in. Okay, then we need uh, a script tag with the cycle plugin. So let's go there, and I believe there's a CDN we can use here. Uh, let's see. Cycle plugin GitHub. I believe it's hosted on GitHub. Let's see, download. Nope. Oh, yeah, right here. All right, so I'm just going to grab this. You can download it and include it in the fi uh, file structure if you want, but I'm just going to include this. So, script source, paste that in. All right, so our script should be all set. Let's go make sure we don't have any errors. Reload, good. Now this is going to be pretty simple. There's not too much to it. So in our body, let's create a div and give it a class of container. 
All right, and inside the container, let's put an H1, and we'll say Coffee Tech. Oops. Under the H1, we're going to have a div with the class of Slider. And inside there, we're going to have our images. So image source is going to be an IMG slash slider. Uh, actually, it's just slide1.jpg. Okay, we're going to give it a width of 640 and a height of 426. All right, so let's go ahead and copy that, and we're going to have a couple more. So we'll have one through five, I believe. And then under the um, slider div, we're going to have a nav. So let's say UL, and we'll give it an ID of nav. And inside there, we're going to put an LI, and we're going to give that an ID of prev for previous. And inside there will be a link. And that's just going to go to our number sign. And we'll call this previous. Then we're also going to need a next. So let's copy that. And we'll put that here. We'll change this to next. Change this to next. And that should be it as far as the markup. So if we look at it, okay, it doesn't look too good, but we're going to fix that. So for the JavaScript, it's actually going to be extremely simple, just really a couple lines. So we're going to grab our document.ready. And inside here, we'll have our function. And all we have to do is say jQuery, and we want to grab that slider class, and then we just want to call dot cycle. And inside here, we'll pass in an object with some options. So FX is going to be the effect, so fade. And let's say pause between each one, I believe that's what that is. Say one, one second. And we need to define the previous, which is going to be the ID of prev. And then next will be the ID of next. And that should be it. That's all we need. So let's save it. All right. Now, right now, you can see that it's only showing one. If I click next, it fades into the next. And we can go previous. And I believe it'll go by itself if we just leave it. Yep. So that part is, is essentially done. All we have left is the CSS so we can make it look good. But you can see how easy it is to implement a plugin. All right. We're just basically calling it with dot cycle. So for the CSS, I'm just going to paste in each style and go over it real quick. So this star here represents everything. We want to just margin out. Uh, we want to zero out the margin, the padding, and the border. All right, now for the body, we're going to use the uh, linear gradient styles, okay, CSS3. Instead of using a gradient image, we're going to just, we're going to use CSS3 for that, and that's going to add a background. All right, and if you want to see the rest, you can see that. All right, uh, let's see, we have the H1. Let's paste that in. So we're getting, giving it the font family dancing script, which is what we got from Google Fonts, uh, aligning it to the center, making the font a little bigger, and so on. For the container, we're setting a width of 635. Margin is 100 pixels on the top because we want to push it down. Position is relative. For the slider div, or the slider class, we're just going to set the height to 332. For the image itself, we'll set a padding, border, and background color. So for the nav, we're going to set the Z index to 150, so it's on top. Um, for the links in the nav, display block, set a width and a height. 
uh, text indent. Um, basically, we don't want the text to show, so we're putting it to this ridiculous number so that it doesn't show and it's replaced with the image. All right, now for the next and the previous, that's where we want to put the image. Okay, so right here we're including the previous image, uh, setting the width and the height, the position. Same thing here, we're setting the next image. All right, and then the hover will have their own image too with the hover version. So let's go ahead and save that and reload. And hmm, something isn't right here with the CSS. Let me just double check everything. So for the image, we have nav. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I haven't the container as an ID here. So we'll just change this to ID. There we go. All right. So that's perfect. Now, if we look at the different effects. Where'd it go? Let's go back to cycle plugin. Not GitHub, though. All right, so let's try shuffle. We'll save that. Okay, so shuffle. Whoop, it's still fading. Oh, is this this isn't the right one? Let me just open up the right file, the one we just created. Uh, open with Chrome. There we go. So that's kind of cool. Since it's set position absolute, we can actually have it go out like that. That's nice. And let's try some other ones. So we have zoom. Okay, that's zoom. That's pretty cool. We have, uh, let's see, turn down, curtain, scroll right. Let's try the turn down. Oh, I like that too. All right, so now we have a very simple slider. You could use this in your website, and obviously you can change the dimensions up, make it look a little different, but it's very easy to use, and that's going to be it. So thanks for watching.